Hello my colleagues and this is a new math lesson. Multiplying rational numbers. So how can a number be irrational? So any number can be rational if it represents a ratio, a ratio between two integers a and b, where b is the denominator with which doesn't equal 0, like for example 3 over 4 17 over 45, 101 over 585, and this term was first to be released by the Italian mathematician Giuseppe Piano. Uh, find the following values. You know that 2 multiplied by 3 equals 6. Yes, it is an easy operation. So, if I ask you another task to minimize this 6, how can you minimize this 6 to make it 6 over 7? In the right hand side you divide it by 7 So of course you think you divide the other uh, side by like multiplying 1 over 7 But wait, this is not an addition You can't uh, distribute uh, Instead you multiply 2 by uh, 3 easily and normally And then divide by 7 like this 2 times 3 over 7 equals 6 over 7. This is the multiplication of any rational numbers. Uh, what is different between multiplying any integers and multiplying numbers? Uh, we have just three rules that we must to multiply any two rational numbers. Uh, rule number one says that any number, integer number, can be a rational number. We can Consider it a rational number. You know that 1 is the multiplication element. Times 1 equals n and n over 1 also equals n. So this is just a rephrasement. It doesn't affect the value. And this is rule 1. What about rule 2? Rule 2 says if two rational numbers a over p and c over d is multiplied by each other, what happens? The result is a times c over p times d look uh, we multiplied the nominators uh, together and the denominators together rule number three if the nominator a dot c or a times c and the denominator b dot d or b times d share a common factor so this term then called a reducible term because it ha it is a rational number and share a common factor between the nominator and the denominator. When we simplify the whole term on until it reaches a stage where there is no any other simplification and then it called an irreducible term. You see my colleague this is some exercises to exercise more and more about uh, multiplying the rational numbers you see all of them is are easy and can be done using the three rules that that we just explained uh, we will take one of them to solve with you and the other uh, by yourself you have to see 3 over 5 times 3 over 7 uh, it doesn't matter who is greater it doesn't matter um, why we share the same numerator I did easily I, um, I consider 3 over 5 over p and 3 over 7 so I multiply a by c and b by d to c we have th times 3 over 5 of times 7 we have 9 over 35 and we simplify this term because easily 9 and 35 share no common factor rather than 1 so this term is called irreducible uh, when I reach the irreducible stage, I am done with the multiplication. Uh, good luck with the other exercises. We reached the end of our lesson, so stay tuned and wait for us.